going to take this time to just reminisce on the uh, performance that the GOAT has had this season. It's just been absolutely fantastic stuff. He's got a few points finishes, a few podiums. He did win the Hungarian Grand Prix. And uh, it's quite clear to see that the GOAT knows his way around a Formula One car. He knows how to control it out there. Few people know how to do that. Even in video games, it's difficult, of course. And uh, that's the reason that Ferrari, the works team, since Minardi runs Ferrari engines, is signing the GOATS next season along with, uh, you know, GP2, which is now Formula 2 champion, Chihiro Lindbergh. So, be quite excited about that, but for now, Let's get into the Japanese Grand Prix. Is the volume better? Is the volume better? Let me see. Get it all the way to the right. Okay, what is up peeps, it's Hannah Fuda. it's the final race of the 2001 Agip F1 series, it's been quite an exciting season and it all ends here at Suzuka Circuit, in Suzuka, Mie Prefecture, Japan, Steve Morgan, the man who could very well take home the championship today, is starting second, next to his teammate, Joey Trickle, wow. McLaren front row is fascinating. Hibiki Ganaha, another person who could win the championship today in her home Grand Prix, starts third or fourth, I don't know. Next to Kiku Honda, Derek Hamill, who could win the championship and is currently leading the points, which helps, is starting on the third row next to Patrick Smith. And then there's everybody else Rupert Weiss, Miller, Aza Samira, James Saunders, Yo Watanabe, hoping to get points today in her home Grand Prix. Really hoping because she doesn't have any. It's all going to come down to this last race for her, isn't it? Kanan Matsuda, Matsuri Tokugawa, Eric Monaco, Racer, Zachary Taylor, Tito Peters, Ai Hidaka, The Goat's Dad, Chihuko, Yukio Hagi War, Michelle, and of course, Drivers to your last car. but not least, The Goat, who is heading to Ferrari at the end of this race. He had a fantastic season. We went over that in the cold opening, so. Without any further hesitation, let's let's just go. The cars are lining up on the grid for the start of the race. Lights out. Go go go! It's a fantastic start from Steve Morgan. Wasn't you know his teammate Joey Trickle didn't have as good a start, but he's going to have the inside line here. Hibiki Gana is going to have a nose in front heading into the first turn. Going to have the outside line. Kiki Honda running right behind Joey Trickle, nearly sticking her, sticking his nose into her gearbox. His what? I'm, think, I'm thinking of too many pe different people here at once. Hibiki Gana has got her nose into Steve Morgan's gearbox, and Steve Morgan is a he as far as we're concerned. Steve Morgan trying to uh, 
Taking the position from Joey Trickle. Joey Trickle knows full well that his teammate could win the championship here, so he's probably going to try to back off, but uh, it's not looking like that so far. Joey Trickle heading to the inside into Dengner and Dunlop. First one's Dengner, and then there's Dunlop. It's three abreast heading through Dunlop and underneath the Cannon Bridge. Steve Morgan's been passed by Hibiki Ganaha. That's Ganaha well into the lead. Joey Trickle taking seconds. But it doesn't matter much if Derek Cannell can hold fifth position as he's doing now, because if he does hold fifth position, he will be tied in the points with Ganaha, but that will be good enough because of his, uh, well, actually I have absolutely no idea, but it doesn't really matter. I should have calculated tiebreakers before this. Rupert Weissmuller running six, that's fantastic stuff. Steve Morgan's actually dropped down to fourth, Kika Honda up to third, his, the home man who, uh, Again, has been quite on and off this season. Uh, gee, I wonder who's in last position. It's the GOAT. Here comes Hibiki Ganaha down the long front straight there. Look at Derek Hamill trying to head to the inside line and get past Steve Morgan. Not sure what's happened to Steve Morgan's pace. It's just not there anymore. Here comes Patrick Smith on the inside. It's nearly three abreast. It is three abreast. With Rupert Weissmuller and Derek Hamill. I think one of them got a piece of Steve Morgan's rear end and uh, Joey Trickle is running very close to the pit wall there, trying to get by Hibiki Ganaha, heading down the front straight there. Ganaha is going to lead the first of this eight-lap Grand Prix. So that's Ganaha, Trickle, Honda on the podium, Morgan, Hamlin, Smith in the point spots. Smith managed to get by Rupert Weissmuller, James Saunders, Smith's teammate, is probably hoping to uh, get into the points as well. He's had a very decent season, and a great one last season, and he is the defending race winner. I think. I think. Probably James Saunders. Maybe Patrick Smith. It was a 1 2 for the Williams, that's all I remember. Asa Samir, who uh, came third after having a really good chance of winning the race but letting it all go in the end, is running in ninth position. You know, let's just profile everybody. Hibiki Gana has just been. Wow. Dominant in F1. A little bit in NASCAR and the Road Course Challenge, but in F1, she has definitely shined. Joey Trickle, he's uh, definitely played second fiddle to his teammate Steve Morgan, but as you can see here, he does have the ability to run up the front of the field as he does have a fantastic car, the McLaren Mercedes. Kika Honda, who's running in third, that BAR Honda. Huh. Never thought about that. I doubt you, Michael Pedersen, thought about that because I'm still cross about you not having a Norwegian and German in this race. Well, in the series. But I mean, I mean, you know. Kika Honda may shower cool, I suppose. Kika Honda had a disaster of a race at the French Grand Prix, but other than that, he's actually been doing very decently. And the French Grand Prix was quite a long time ago. Steve Morgan running fourth. That's not where he wants to be. He wants to be in first. But Derek Hale is exactly where he wants to be because, again, if he finishes fifth, he will win the championship, and he's holding fifth quite well, as you can see. Patrick Smith running sixth there. Never really been as good as James Saunders, I wouldn't say. But, uh... Huh, I thought people were gonna start heading into the pits. That's a bit odd, heading in on lap two and three. Patrick Smith has definitely shown he's quite famous for uh, all his crashes. But, uh, a few people have uh, stolen that spot from him, not least of which Santa Caltina in the NASCAR series. Rupert Weissmuller running 7th, he's, uh, his growth this season's really been exponential in that Prost. He got a podium the other day. Definitely hoping for more points, you know. Finishing higher up the championship tables, definitely, you know, something to brag about. James Saunders running 8th has always been a great driver in each of the series he performs in. He's hoping to get by Vice Mueller and maybe even his teammate Smith for some points today. Odds of Samira is uh, decent. Decent. In each series. Eric Monaco is the uh, teammate of Isaiah Monaco, who is your reigning cup champion. I don't think Eric Monaco has ever been as good, but uh, he is running up here in F1 and it takes quite a bit of skill. He's fighting with Odds of Samira for ninth spot. Kenan Matsuda is a. Uh, Always been questioning when, when and where she's going to retire. Okay, you know what, 
Matt said if you do retire, I don't really care. I think you should. Let someone else take the limelight. Maybe Yo Watanabe will get to work. Racer! Yeah, we already slammed him in France, so. Yeah, oh dear, the goat's gone wide, and. If I had a counter for every time I've said, oh dear. I don't know. Yo Watanabe, she's hoping to get points today. She is running in the latter half of the field, but. I think it's still on the cards. Matsui Tokugawa, Hibikigana, his teammate, has gone relatively unnoticed. He doesn't have any points to her name. Oh, oh, looks like some guys are gonna be heading into the pits. That's a bit str- Oh, dear, Patrick Smith's made a bit of contact. Oh, his teammates! James Saunders is out of the race! He's slammed the pit road wall. I don't have no idea what went wrong there. Not sure what's up with the Williams hitting the pit road wall, but it looks like that's happened today. Patrick Smith just made contact with the wall. And James Saunders has absolutely bottled it there. What a disaster for him. He's out of this race, most definitely. Looks like Ganahan and Weissmuller are going to stay out, but everybody else is in pit road. Not least of which, obviously, James Saunders, who's uh, definitely going to be out of this race. His front wing is bent up completely. It looks like the goat stayed out, too. Not that that will have any effect on the race. And Saunders has no rear wing. There goes the Owatonabe out of her pit stall. She's beaten Steve Morgan. Himself has been beaten by Kiki Honda and Joey Trickle, his teammates. Joey Trickle not making life easy for Steve Morgan. Patrick Smith trying to get down his inside. That's disgusting, but it's true. Oz and Samir out in front of Eric Monica, Ray Sarah, Zachary Taylor, and Ortiz. Oh, Derek Hamill's gone wide. What's happened there? Contact with his teammates. His teammates just screwed up his chances of winning. First, it was the GOATs. Last race. Most, that's probably the reason he spun them both to prevent them from getting points, but now Ray Sarah's turn against his teammate. He's quite clearly not happy with being second fiddle, is he? That's a disaster for Derek Camel, disaster for James Saunders, of course, who is now out of this race. But uh, I'm sure Hibiki Gana has elated about that. Steve Morgan has been beaten out of pit road, and Derek Hamill's running quite a ways down the field. Let's see, who else were we doing profiles on? The GOAT is a GOAT. We don't need to do anything about it. Well, as it turns out, Bandicam really hates me today, so I've just had to rewind a butt ton. Let's see, where were we? Um. Uh, actually, we talked about most of these guys already, didn't we? Huh. Well, I seem to remember talking about most of these guys. We're talking about Zachary Taylor, definitely. So. Goat's dad. He's going to be retiring from F1 and hoping to find a, find a seat in the Road Course Challenge or NASCAR. Chihu Ko, he's. Well, this is his first season in both F1 and the Road Course Challenge, so he's been performing averagely, but uh, still impressing. I do believe he has a few points finishes. Well, everybody does have point finishes, except for Watanabe, of course. Hagiwara is Hagiwara. She has the aggression of a turtle. But she did win the Monaco Grand Prix, and that's an achievement in its own right. Mei Xiao, second fiddle to Kiki Honda, but she does have some points finishes as well. Tito Peters, second fiddle to Zachary Taylor, but he's a decent racer in his own right. Oh, here comes Gana Hat of her pit stall. Looks like Trickle's headed into pit road again. Vice Miller coming out. Utanabe and Honda are going to beat him microphone keeps getting moved about. And that's three Japanese in the top three in this race. That's fantastic. That's a good pit row. He's going to be getting by, beaten by Joey Trickle. James Saunders, of course, is out of this race. Let's see. We were on Ahidaka, I believe. I think she does better in the road course challenge, but she has put up a few good performances here. She could have won in Belgium if she didn't pit. On the last turn! and crash into the pit road wall. And finally, Derek Hamill, your reigning F1 champion. I don't think he's going to get the second in a row today. I find that very unlikely. Considering just how much Ghana has dominated this race. That's what it is. Dominated. Let every single lap there. Look at these guys. Running pretty close together. Vice Mueller, Smith, Monaco, and Sir. We might actually be seeing quite a bit of a fight for these positions there. As Smith and Weissmuller occupy 
and you lasted in points positions, at least I believe that's true. Oh, it's Weissmuller, Smith, and Monaco in the points positions race. They're running just outside of them. Here they go towards the spoon. Monica making quite a bit of contact with Patrick Smith, looking very aggressive, but he's going to be stuck behind Rupert Weissmuller, and Patrick Smith's going to try to get by Rupert Weissmuller on the outside line, heading out of the spoon and down this back straight before 130R. Racer just watching the action. Oh, contact! Contact! Weissmuller, Monaco, and Smith go wide at 130R. Smith, Monaco into the wall. Smith, uh... Didn't get as much of it, but uh, Weissmuller got a piece as well. It's quite a bit of damage to Eric Monica's front wing. And by quite a bit, we don't mean very much, but it's quite easily discernible. That's Monica into his pit stall. Well, it looks like he's going to call it a day. Joey Trickle into the pits as well. Something happened here. I'm sure of it. Heading into the chicane, Trickle nudged the goat on the rear end, sending him plowing through the turn. Goat spun right onto the racing line, and Joey Trickle made contact there. Joey Trickle going to have to head into the pits as well. The man who started on pole today, unless he started second, it doesn't matter, he was on the front row. And he's retired. He's retired from the race. Not the way Joey Trickle wanted to end the day, but... Let's take a look at your order. Hibiki Gana has leading the field, followed relatively closely by Kiki Honda. Yo Watanabe running on the, in the last of the podium spots. Ray Sir is fourth, Steve Morgan fifth, and Aza Samira sixth. These guys are quite bunched up uh, behind fifth and sixth. Aza Samira trying to get by. Steve Morgan on the inside line, heading towards the spoon. Steve Morgan for better exit to the outside line. Zachary Taylor, Patrick Smith, and the Ghost Dad rounding out the top ten, followed by Chihu Ko, Masi Tokigawa, Yuki Hakiwar, Meishi Ai, Hidaka Tito Peters, and Rupert Weissmuller. Derek Hamill, a bit of ways behind them, and the Goat, of course, massively behind. Steve Morgan's going to have the inside, heading down this back straight and towards 130R. Here comes Racer trying to get by Yo Watanabe. Yo Watanabe is going to have the inside line heading into the chicane and then during the final turn if she can hold the inside from this position. Yo Watanabe goes wide at that turn and uh... Because, oh dear! Racer has hit the pit road wall. Patrick Smith has piled into the wall and oh dear! Steve Morgan slammed into Racer! Steve Morgan's out of the Japanese Grand Prix! What a disaster! He's just flushed his championship aspirations down the toilet. We have to take a look at that again. What went wrong? It's It all occurred so quickly. Relatively, I think. And towards the final turn, Racer was, uh... Well, it looked like he was a bit indecisive about whether or not he should go into the pits, but, uh, decided to stay out a bit too late. And that's him definitely out of this race. Patrick Smith trying to get into the pit road. He made the same error as his teammates. That's him out of the race. And finally, Steve Morgan. It happened at nearly the same time. Did you see that? Patrick Smith went from 93 miles an hour to zero in the space of a second. Look how quickly he stops there. And he went nearly into the path of Steve Morgan. And Steve Morgan, I think, made a bit of contact which unsettled the rear end and sent him right into race, sir. That's absolutely unlucky. That's absolutely horrible. That's such a disaster. And Steve Morgan's out of this race. And he's not going to be contesting the championship. It's got to be up to Derek Hamill now to uh, win this race. Or at least finish fourth and, well, get revenge for Hibiki Ganaha winning their home Grand Prix. You know what's interesting? These guys have come and pit again. Oh, uh... One of the, uh... BARs there are gonna spawn and get hitting out of pit row. That's really going to have an effect on this race. 
Ray Sarah Patrick Smith and Steve Morgan stuck in pit road and they're all out of this race looks like the guild has spun it as he usually does and he's going to lo lose a load of positions there there's Derek Allen really this race belongs in the toilet for him as well he's just had no luck at all today. He had a slow pit stop and that really settled it for him. I'm sure he began to has goose, goose, goose bumps and his jumping around in her seat because she has quite the commanding lead over second place. Rupert Weissmuller, so it seems to be. Heading towards the chicane, the penultimate corner, and then into the final one. The crowd is on their feet. They know that Derek Hamill is just a memory now. Here comes Hibiki Gana out of the final turn. Down the front straight. One more lap to go for Hibiki Ganaha. And I've screwed up her name again as usual, but it doesn't matter. Where's Derek Hamill? That is the question of the day. We'll gloss over that for a second there as we watch Ganaha navigate the S's of this famous racetrack. The S's are part of the reason it's so famous. Lap times, Ghana has the fastest one, then Kiku Honda, Ahidaka, I believe, Race Sir, Joey Trickle, Derek Hamill, Steve Morgan, Patrick Smith, Chihu Ko, and Eric Monica. A lot of those guys are out of this race. And as you can see right there, Steve Morgan, Race Sir, Joey Trickle, Eric Monaco, and, uh, well, now Patrick Smith and James Saunders out of this race. Where's Derek Hamill ended up? just crossed the line here and he's running in 15th position and the ghost bottled it again no effect on this race here comes Ghana heading towards the hairpin it's been absolute domination it's been a great season for Ghana and this is the way she wanted to top it off all she has to do now is bring the car home and not bottle it. Really, why does Bandit Cam hate me so much? You know who loves me though? God. I don't need Bandit Cam. I need Jesus. I'm sure Ibiki Ganaha thinks she has Jesus here. She's going to head down the front straight for the final time and take the checkered flag. Ibiki Ganaha wins the Japanese Grand Prix. And we just have to see if Derek Hamill's managed to wake his way into fifth place. Um, let's see. Rupert Weissmuller is going to take second and Kiki Honda is going to round out the podium. Is that Yo Watanabe? Yes, it is. Kana Matsuda and the Goat Stat are going to take the final points positions, which means that Hayuki Gana has your new Formula One world champion, and the party can begin. And every party needs good music.
and it's going to be a hell of a party. Yoatanabe was fast, fastest in practice, and Steve Morgan in qualifying. But neither here nor him are the Formula One World Champion. Instead, it's Hibiki Ganaha as your winner today. And that ghost just living it up because he gets to drive for Ferrari. He is just elated about that, isn't he? Kenan Matsuda, Yukio Hakiwar, Meishio Masi, Tokugawa, Derek Hamilton, to Peter Zahidaka, and uh, a lot of those guys. Out of feel as usual, Suzuka. Uh, Rupert Weissmuller, Kiki Honda sharing the podium with your champion today. Yo Watanabe finally getting points. Kana Matsuda, her teammate, doing so as well, and the GOAT's dad. Of all people rounding out the points, paying positions. Zachary Taylor, Aza Samir, Mei Xiao, Chihu Ko, Matsuri Tokugawa, Tito Peters, Ahidaka, Yuki Hagiwara, Derek Camel, and the GOAT. The only finishers today. Patrick Smith crashed in pit road, much like his teammate James Saunders. Steve Morgan crashed into racer after racer, slammed the side of the pit road wall after being indecisive about whether he should pit or not. And Joey Trickle made contact with the goat, and Eric Monica made contact with Weissmuller and Smith that turned him into the wall. Matsuda and Hagiwa are going to keep the pace car company as we completely disregard that thing. Oh! Oh, it, it is accurate! Yes! Hibiki Ganaha wins the race and then takes the title at Suzuka underscore GTP. Yes. Just want to, uh... Oh, well that's your point standings, okay. But it doesn't matter. The real point standings were on screen. At the end of the race, so... I'm so done right now. It's been Hanafuda. It's been a time and a half. An honor. Congratulations. To Hibiki Ganha, congratulations, of course, to Mami Fatami, who I guess is a team owner or something. The person who signed up with Ganaha and Tokugawa for Sauber. My voice broke. I will see you in the next video. Day f one of the five day weekend, because I count for. No, okay. Day zero, day negative one, day z uh, whatever. Okay, tomorrow will be day one of the four day weekend. Double headers galore, and later today, these sign ups. And of course, Mommy Fatami gets to pick first. I actually want to make something clear. Here's the banter uh, thing right here. I picked uh, the McLarens as number one and number two but if you'd like you could uh, do uh, the Red Bulls instead number one and number two, Aiden Shepard and Benoit LaTerravine are from an earlier uh, F1 season that never never uh, got started I'm just gloss over that I'm gonna go now Good luck with the sign-ups when they come out.